Now, three days have passed since the massive fire swept through the East West Road in River State, leaving devastation in its wake, with at least five people losing their lives and over 120 vehicles destroyed. People are watching and they need help. As the cleanup of preparations slowly grinds forward, the delayed government intervention has sparked outrage and calls for swift action to alleviate the sufferings of those affected. Local businesses along the East West Road have been severely affected with a cleanup operation disrupting normal activities and exacerbating the economic strain on affected communities. Among those affected so far by the delayed intervention are two Nigerian athletes of the track and field sport who were to be on their way to Kalaba for a major sporting competition. In this short video, our correspondent Kopona Siza briefs us more on the street faced by those people in the region. In the scene of the accident for Friday night where there was a tanker explosion that claimed the life of several Nigerians and burnt uh, cars in this place. But right now we see that the men of the fire service and uh, NEMA, the road safety and all, are here to try to evacuate and remove the tanker. So right behind me you can see them dismantling and this is causing a whole lot of traffic coming in from uh, the Akpajo area trying to access the refining junction. So commuters coming in from, uh, uh, from Potakot or coming in from uh, Kwaibom trying to access this road right now are quite stranded. That's why you see a lot of people now uh, trekking. But at the same time, a caution is being taken. Everybody on this, uh, on this route now has been asked to off their engines. But Nigerians, you know how we are. They are we still have some stubborn persons who still try to, you know, because of what one thing or the other, they are trying to get to some locations. Other people are still trying to find other ways to, you know, uh, navigate this, uh, uh, this uh, road right now because it is impossible, practically impossible. And we are not even allowed very close access to what is going on there because we understand there may be some fuel left in the tankers right now as we speak. We are right away at opposite petrochemical right now. On Friday, as I was coming back from my office, I got to Apajo Junction, everywhere was blocked, blocked as in there is no place for bike to pass. And this is what we have been suffering. Anytime there is hold up this way, we end up paying 1,000 Naira to Refinery Junction or 1,500. This is what we pay for 200 Naira, but we see ourselves paying high personal because I pass this road morning and evening, morning and evening, and see myself paying 1,000 Naira every day by day. Anytime hold up calls, and whenever this road got blocked, everywhere, as in no bike, for bike to pass is just something else. You see people, people suffering, and this one also happened to my eyes. There was a time hold up happened this way. Do you know that a woman, a woman that was coming from her daily business with her tray on her head, at least I saw that one, with her tray, do you know that she fell inside that water? Where is the uh, River State uh, fire? Um, this thing we did not see anyone till they were not asking uh, everybody. Ah, what about Indroma? Indroma is there. Indroma is there. What about them now? Why don't bring out their um, fire? This is woman help out. No way. Ah, reaching after um, like 10 30, we start throwing down. And all this way we've been standing there. We heard the tank out the team bust like twice. And once the team blew up until just like flint to somewhere else, everywhere else we caught fire. We never knew that a thousands of like hundred and yeah, cars have been burnt down right from the junction here between Echo Bank and the uh, Indroma Gates. The cars at the back was burnt into ashes. Mm. I we now we are not like escaping from the close to an NPC fence. There is where we inside the bush that night around that 10 30. We were just passing there and the heat was just something else. Mm. I cried since my eyeball did not fall out. Oh, Omar, it will not fall out again. We are here with our other East athletes, and I'm here with their coach, Mr. Ayo Deji. Yes, Omotoye. Omotoye. Yes. I understand they're on their way to Calabar for an event, but yes. let's find out how this, what's going on behind us, is hampering that uh, journey. Tell us about our other East first. Okay, our other East is um, a local government in River State. Um, it is um, a, a local government that loves uh, sports. We, we just concluded um, uh, Chairman's Unity Cup on Friday, on um, Saturday rather, 27th, and um, we are headed to Calabar right now to uh, compete at an MTN Champs event, season two. 
Um, we left earlier to see if we could um, get to the venue of the event as fast as possible because the events are starting tomorrow. But on getting here, we were hampered by the um, this uh, truck and um, the diesel issue. And since then, we've been so uncomfortable. So we had to come out of our buses to at least uh, receive fresh air and see what is happening. So of a truth, we are really a bit disturbed because we're trying to check our time to know if we can still meet up with some other things like accommodation and registration at the venue of the event. I would like to break my own record because I've kept record when I went for my own under 15 competition. So I'm believing I can break my own record again and make it higher to so another level. What is the record you want to break your record? Your um, I feel like jumping two meter, two meter. That is, I've been, I've jumped to 1.85 before, but I believe I can jump two. Hmm. By God's grace. I'm sure your coach is very excited about yes, that. Yes, yes. He's been trying for us, seriously <laughs> trying. I appreciate him so much. Thank, Thank you, you, coach. <laughs> There's a word of admission from uh, the athlete to the coach thanking him. Nigeria's number one when it comes to high jump is looking to jump two meters. But we're wishing them luck as, long, as soon as this is cleared so they can go ahead to get your registration and also get a commendation uh, for this uh, year's championship in Calabar. Thank you, Thank you so very much.